Right, hello folks. Panini Trouble Soccer. Finally doing my first ever box break for this product. Honestly, I've always felt Treble Soccer is overpriced. Yes, you do get three autographs uh, on average, but most of which are sticker autos, which I feel doesn't quite justify the high price of close to 200 US per master box. But ever since um, its release a couple of months back, prices have dropped significantly, which is why it's taken me till now to consider having a pop at this particular product. Alright, let's hope for a good one. This is going to be a very quick presentation. Bearing in mind they're only like a few cards uh, in one mini box. I believe it's just yeah, five cards per box, so it's just 15 cards in total. inside. Hopefully um, no crappy inter autos. I mean those of you who have broken this product before you will know. Okay, Let's start off with the first pack. Fortunately I didn't bring my scissors along. I'm on a very quiet spot uh, just right outside Changi City Point so no poor background noise this time around see it right so yeah you can see us get well soon first numbered card is uh, the cards are relatively thick so they're not your usual Donruss or select cards this is uh, Kovacic number the 150 is this already the autograph hit nice one of the reasons why treble soccer is causing a ripple amongst collectors is because of these um, what you call uh, first time autographs of veterans, retired players and Bern Schuster, in my opinion a legend, played for both Real Madrid and Barcelona kind of like the Mesut Ozil of the 80s. A luxury player, very talented playmaker, never quite got on with uh, the establishment. So yeah, kind of reminds me of current day Mesut Ozil. He's won a lot with Barcelona and Real Madrid as well and I believe he's also won a league title as a manager uh, with Real Madrid. So he has success as a player as well as a manager but I believe uh, based on the thickness of the card I think it should fit nicely into a 75 point top loader this is a 120 point top loader which I think is a little bit too uh, thick to house this card so maybe I'll have to change it to another top loader when I get back okay this is a nice first hit I've been wanting to uh, you know hit some of these uh, veteran players you know guys which I don't really want to hit are you know you know your Brozovic, Perisic, Jose Luis Gaia players yeah, those guys I don't really want to hit because the veterans to me mean a lot more okay moving on to second half It's a thick card, so it's either a memorabilia or a memorabilia auto. Let's hope it's a memorabilia auto. Okay. Because if it's a, if just purely a memorabilia, then I think it's a sticker card coming right up. This is uh, Vincent Abubakar, number one fifty. Rakitic and Juan Fran. Yeah, I think it's Marcelo Brozovic. 
MBR. So there you go, crappy card. This is the Inter Milan hit that you don't want. So no Dennis Bird camp for me. I've actually met him in person before, signed for me a couple of cards at Bishan Stadium. And he should be coming back with Inter this July for ICC. Inter coming back for ICC again in Singapore even though they were already here in 2017. So there you go, Marcelo Brozovic. So that's auto hit number two. Um, the Rakitic. Okay, oh, it's, it's numbered 72 of 75. This does remind me of, uh, I mean, this design template does remind me of Panini Pinnacle Basketball, but uh, that's a pretty old product from a couple of years back. But I like to think they copied some design ideas from that basketball product. So maybe if I have time next time, uh, I can show you just how similar they are in terms of design. Background's almost the same. All right, uh, oh, gold coming right up. This is uh, a Jamison. And then you have a purple. Thomas Lamar and Neymar. I already saw the logo already. It's an Inter logo. Let's hope for a good one. No Paris Ditch, please. Local Legends. Oh no. Oh no. What started off quite promisingly with the uh, Bern Schuster Peters out at the end. Local Legends. How could you call him a legend when he's still active in football? Just don't get it. So this turns out to be a rather average box. The two inter autographs really ruin things. That bunch of the autograph is the pick of the bunch. Okay, so there you have it. Let's end this video. I'll come back later with basketball. Cheers.